Hola muchachos, ¿qué tal? Buenos días. Aquí tienen las instrucciones para el examen final y las preguntas de hablar. So I'm just running through these questions for you uh, so you know what it is you need to include in your responses in terms of not only the grammar and the vocabulary. Remember that there are 10 questions to choose from and then of them you guys are going to do five. You pick three and I'll pick two, but you definitely should be familiar with all 10 just in case. So I'm going to run down all 10 with you um, so that you can make sure to include all the grammar and vocab needed. So for number one, de niño que te gustaba hacer en tus ratos libres, uh, three things that you used to like to do in your free time, and you guys are going to use the imperfect tense for this one. Imperfect tense is on page 196 of the textbook. Excuse me, 194 and 196. It's a question that you guys did for your autobiographical presentation. So I need three conjugations in the imperfect to answer that question. Uh, de niño yo jugaba videojuegos, escuchaba música, y mis amigos y yo uh, montábamos en bicicleta. Something like that. Three verbs in the imperfect. All right, for the second question, ¿Cuál era tu materia favorita en la escuela primaria? There are two changes we need to make to this one, and I believe we will have made them in uh, class. ¿Cuál es tu materia favorita en la escuela secundaria? So what is your favorite subject now in secondary school? And then, ¿por qué? So, mi materia favorita en la escuela secundaria es, and then your favorite subject, and then I need one adjective and one verb to describe why. Mi materia favorita es historia, porque es fácil, uh, porque es divertido, porque es interesante, y me gusta leer, me gusta escribir, me gusta aprender de personas famosas. So I need one verb and one adjective to describe your favorite class. Number three, ¿qué hiciste el fin de semana pasado? Is asking, what did y'all do this past weekend? You guys are going to use the preterite tense for that one. Preterite tense can be found on page 110. Preterite is used for completed actions in the past. So things that you did just once, right? Yo... Escribí un ensayo, vi la televisión, y mi familia y yo fuimos al restaurante. Remember, car guards are verbs have that spelling change in the yo form. And then remember the verb ir. If you're going to talk about where you went, the verb ir is irregular. And that's on page 140. All right, so those are the first three. Number four, ¿cómo era tu familia? Is asking, what was your family like? A lot of these questions, you want to look at your project and what you came up with, uh, your autobiographical presentation about your childhood. For this question, I just need three descriptions of your family. You could use adjectives to describe your whole family. You could use verbs in the imperfect to talk about what you guys used to like to do. Uh, you can use adjectives to describe individual family members. It's up to you. But I need three descriptions of your family for number four, using the imperfect tense. Number five, participabas en un club deporte? Did you used to participate in a club or sport? Uh, any verb in the imperfect will suffice. Doesn't need to be the verb participar. And then give me a couple extracurriculars you guys used to partake in when you were a kid. Número seis, de niño, ¿qué era tu materia favorita y por qué? What was your favorite subject in school and why? Number six is just like number two, except number two is in the present, using the present tense, and number six is in the past, using the imperfect. And you need one adjective and one verb to describe why your favorite class was what it was. Number seven, ¿cuántos años tenías cuando aprendiste a caminar? How old were you when you first learned how to walk? Use the verb tener in the imperfect and the verb aprender in the preterite to indicate how old you were when you first learned how to walk. 
Eight and nine are both in the future. That's what we looked at more recently. On page 460, that's what we went over this week. The future tense endings there. All the same set of endings for AR, ER, and IR verbs. So take out three verbs that you would want to use to talk about what you got going on this summer. Durante las vacaciones de verano, yo iré a Lake Tahoe, trabajaré con mis padres y estudiaré matemáticas. So three verbs in the future, just like on page 460, to talk about your summer plans. And then for nine, it's the same thing, just post-graduation, right? ¿Qué vas a hacer después de graduarte? What are you going to do after graduating? Yo trabajaré en un restaurante. Yo estudiaré en Los Medanos. Yo uh, viviré en Los Ángeles. And then number 10, finally, ¿Cómo eras de niño or de niña? Is asking, what were, you, what were you like as a kid? I need three adjectives to describe what you were like when you were little. You guys can run back, run that back. All these questions uh, were questions either from a project or from a warm-up. Uh, most of them from projects that we've done this semester. So take a look at your previous submissions. Take a look at your warm-ups from earlier this semester, and I think make and definitely make sure that you're familiar with all ten. But remember to pick any three uh, that you feel most confident. Buena suerte.